Hi. Now we have to express 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta in the form r cos theta minus alpha. We're told that it's identical to this. Now this is a very kind of common type of question and just to give you a bit of background very quickly on how we'd go about this. Basically it can be shown that if you've got anything of the form a cos theta plus b sine theta this can be written in the form r cos theta minus alpha where r okay, is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared and the constant alpha is given by the inverse tan of the b number over the a value inverse tan of b over a and if you're unsure of these proofs just go on my website and you'll find tutorials for this particular type of identity. So when it comes to this question we can go straight into this and say that therefore r equals the square root of and you can see that the a is 3 and the b is 4 when we compare it to what we've got over here. So this is going to be the same as the square root then of a squared, 3 squared plus b squared, b being the 4, 4 squared. And we've got here 9 plus 16 which is 25, square root of 25 then which is going to be 5. And we always take the positive value of the square roots. I know square roots are plus or minus but for this type of work we always take the positive value. And as for alpha we can see that alpha is the inverse tan of the b value over the a value. The inverse tan then of b which is 4 over the a value which is 3. Make sure your calculator is in the right mode. For this question we are told that alpha has to lie between 0 and 90 degrees. So you need to have your calculator in degrees mode and if you do that on your calculator you should find that you get 53 point one three zero one and so on degrees and if we're to give that say to the nearest degree that's going to be 53 degrees and we'll just state the accuracy in here to nearest degree okay so just to wind this problem up what we've got to do is we can just go back up here and we can say that therefore 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta is identical to r which is 5 and then we've got the cosine cos for short of theta minus alpha and I'll just write the minus 53 in there rather than that full value there okay minus 53 degrees and that brings us to the end of this video